All right, um, so we're in the same scene uh, where we just left off, and now what I want to do is set up a blueprint that allows me to change materials on an object. Um, and we're not going to necessarily walk through the same steps uh, as we did previously, um, but these can be used just as well. Um, so uh, in this uh, video, we're going to look at um, changing the material on this comforter. Um, so one of the things you can do uh, when creating a blueprint is you can you can select your item here, not necessarily in the content browser, and then up in the top you can click on blueprint, and then because you pre-selected, you'll get a different menu. Just go ahead and hit select, and you'll see that this uh, now shows up. And what we want to do is um, keep this pretty simple. We're just going to hop over. Uh, to the event graph and um, my uh, windows are all kind of tweaked here so we're gonna go to the event graph and um, move uh, these guys out of the way and event begin play we're gonna type um, enable or enable input and we need the player controller just as last time. So we get player controller and plug that in there. And then now we're going to take this static mesh, which happens to be our uh, comforter, and we're going to drag that in. And then we're going to pull a wire from here. And the node that we want is set uh, material, which is right there. And if we were only going to change one material, this would be good. Um, but we have a lot of materials that we want to cycle through. That's kind of the point of this. So um, we need another node that is called uh, multi-gate. And this node is going to sort of act like a, you know, a, a, a switch so that we can move from one wire to the, uh, one material to the next. So, um, now I can take this set material and I'm just gonna copy it a few times so control W like this and I need to drag the uh, static mesh component to each one of the target inputs and then the multi gate has out 0 out 1 and we need uh, two more so we click add pin two more times and then that will go here and then here and we could just keep adding if we like and now what we need is to um, establish the material so I'm gonna move this over and um, if I click on the little eyeglass to find that material in the content browser which is right there I can pre-select here and then in the select asset press this little arrow and it populates so then I'm gonna do this one and then I'm going to do this one. This is safer, especially if you're bad at, at names. Um, and then finally, that one. So now we have these four materials. And I'm just, the first one is the material that um, it's currently uh, using. Um, and now what I want to do is uh, assign a, um, uh, a trigger. So we used trigger right before. So let's use trigger left this time. And we'll plug that in right there. Hit compile. And then this should allow us to just walk into the space, hit the left trigger, and it will fire through all of these different materials. Now, you want to remember that if we want to set it up so that the uh, that some text appears um, above the bed so that we know to do this we can do that if we want this trigger to only work if we're near the bed or if we see the text we can do that too and if you want any of that functionality you can refer back to the can light blueprint and you can always um, copy and paste you can always grab these nodes and uh, copy them into your next blueprint um, but keep in mind that the uh, 
on component begin and end overlap, these are specific to this particular box collision. So if you create a whole new one and then you copy and paste this node, it's not going to work. Um, you need to remember that you select that collision and then go add event and, and choose it from that drop down. Uh, but the rest of these you can copy and paste, no problem. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to hit play and test this guy out. So I go in and uh, we teleport over here and I pull the trigger. There are the various uh, colors and not the best colors, but what are you going to do? Um, and I am still pressing the trigger, but I'm stuck with the green, that really horrible green. So let's go back and don't necessarily need to do this again. We just need to check the loop box so that it uh, cycles through one more time. So now it'll just return back to the beginning once you keep clicking. And that's essentially uh, how to change materials on an object. Now, in this case, um, we've uh, broken the lighting um, when we made this blueprint. So uh, if you wanted this to look more appropriate um, for the setting, uh, now that the blueprint is created, you would rebuild the light so that it looks like it's appropriate in the scene. And then the material change won't affect that uh, going forward.